How's it going guys? So, um, thought I'd do a little bit of an update video uh, following my shaky portrait view uh, video from earlier. So, not a heck of a lot's changed um, and that's due to the fact that I blew a little coil straight off of the PCB on my welder so that's my welder Lincoln Powercraft 250C so it's a multi-process um, welder so it does meg tig and stick it's okay for home use type stuff um, it wasn't a cheap unit but yeah I blew the uh, blew the coil straight off it and um, you know the uh, weld repair shop said it's gonna cost me kind of eight hundred to a thousand dollars to repair it so I guess that means I'm in the market for a new welder, so I'll probably get an AC-DC TIG welder uh, instead to replace that. Um, and I'll do a little video showing what I get when I do get something to replace it, but that'll probably be, hopefully that'll be later this week, but we'll see how we go. So, thought I'd take this opportunity, we'll do a little bit of an overview of what I've done here so far, what the parts are, how they all work together, and we'll see how we go from there. So this is the controller, here's its case, here's the board that lives inside the case, so you can see that this aluminium section here bolts inside to these, so it, sl it slides inside there. So you can see, just from that top view, it gives you a pretty good idea of how much smaller the board is to the actual casing. So. I'll be modifying that casing or maybe making a new one completely um, and making that a bit smaller and so the phase wires will actually instead of coming out the front like they do here they'll actually come out of the bottom of the new case and that way they can lead straight down through the hole to the cable on the motor So this is the, uh, the controller that this is, oh, it's a Yu Yang King uh, 50 amp JG. Uh, so some of the other parts, this is the motor side crank which has a freewheel on it. And this is the coaxial motor itself. So it's a bit scratched up from doing test fits and things like that. So the pedal crank goes on this side of the motor. And that's and that goes to your normal pedal chain gears. And then this sprocket here is a motor powered sprocket and that goes directly to the other side, so the disc brake side of the back wheel. So that way your your pedals and your motor are separated. So you're not you're not uh, trying to force the power of this motor which is about five kilowatts through a pedal chain which is never a good idea so you can hear there there's a freewheel on this sprocket itself and then that freewheel sprocket on the crank this one here that bolts to the mo to uh, that other freewheel so that way you you're pedaling and your motor are completely independent from one another um, you can see here and I think I showed this earlier so this side of the flange the motor comes in and that picks up on these these bolts so it's bolted on this side and then on the opposite side let's see if I can get a view of it here on the opposite side it's clamping I'll just uh, Flip the bike around and we'll get a bit of a better view of that. All right, so here we are with the frame flicked around the other way. So you can see this is where this uh, ring section clamps down around the shell of the motor, and this section here is where the cables that come out of the motor. Are. These ones here. So that 
slides through this gap. So that way the motor can slide in, bolt to the flange on one side and clamp on this side. Uh, so you can see here, I started the thickening up of uh, these sections here like I was talking about in the last, uh, last video. So I've added an extra piece of 3mm plate here. Uh, I started the surface finish welds and then then the welder had a cry and blew up. Um, got a bit of a weld onto this lug here onto the swing arm. And that's about as far as I got with that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for now. It gives you a bit of an overview of what's going on. Um, yeah, any questions as always? Hit me up in the comments and um, I'll get back to you. Cheers.